joining me so it's the last video of the month i received my sephora play bag and as with the other unboxings i am wearing each and every product i've received um so we're just gonna jump right into it the uh, the theme this month was complexion companions they did a, it a good theme and they did a great job executing it this i've had sephora play about five months now and this has got to be my favorite bag by far they did an amazing job so first thing we have is this little tiny bottle for makeup forever it's their hd booster and what it is it's a little serum you see the little tiny dropper on it it's a little serum you are supposed to put on your face directly before makeup you put it on right before your primer um it's composed of like hyal hyaluronic acid and argan oil to smooth out your face to be honest with you it pretty much performs exactly as my homemade hyaluronic serum um because since i use the hyaluronic powder it's a very concentrated serum it does pretty much the same thing which is just it delivers a good deal of moisture and the hyaluronic acid in it it plumps your like it um it re retains a whole lot of moisture and it plumps your face up so that any fine lines or imperfections are smoothed out a little bit so this is, would be a really great product for anyone that doesn't have something comparable to it um so i used this before applying what they sent was the becca back light filter filter primer and this was an interesting primer it's um when you put it it comes out just as purple as the bottle and it's a it's a little more watery in consistency than most primers i've ever used um so this bottle like probably only has it like a few uses in it but it's beautiful um it's not a primer that you could put on and just wear by itself because when you're done applying it to your face you like it's a gorgeous effect under foundation but before you put the foundation on your face looks like a light bulb it it's just it's so bright and luminous um it's a very gorgeous effect under foundation i love this primer it's something i'll probably try in the future when i go through my stockpile of current primers and have to purchase a new one um it's definitely would be something i'd consider buying a full size of now this next product my little crystal ball says i will be owning the full size soon it's the makeup forever hd foundation and thankfully i had my profile filled out for sephora play because everything they sent this month was like complexion specific this is an amazing foundation it says a f fan favorite f fan foundation known for its long wearing coverage and flawless finish that looks natural in every light um this is the new formula if you go on sephora like to check it out it'll tell you it's me it was made specifically to stand up to like the 4d technology now um with filming and photography and i'm not a big foundation wearer even in the winter time i don't i wear foundation sometimes but not often i still like my tenant moisturizers because i am all about the light cover excuse me the light coverage um i take i mean i don't have such a strict skincare regimen so that i can cover like so that i have to cover my skin with heavy foundation so i like i was kind of iffy about wanting to put this on this morning but it felt like it's a buildable foundation so i was able to get a very light coverage it feels weightless and the end result was like airbrush flawless looking beautiful i mean it took me by surprise um and i will definitely be made purchasing this in the full size 
It has got to be the best foundation I've ever used. It doesn't feel like I have foundation on my face. I was able to get the light coverage that I like, and it just left a beautiful finish. So, keeping in with the theme, the next thing, of course, is the setting powder. And I got my favorite, favorite, my holy grail, Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, and it's a little ironic because... Like, I do, I splurge on this once in a while, and in between owning this, I used the Cody Airspun. I just, right before the Sephora bag got here, just ordered um, the, a full-sized uh, Laura Mercier powder. So, now I have a little sample size to get me through till it gets here. And it states, the Silky Sheer Setting Powder creates a soft focus finish and can be used over makeup to help your look last all day long anybody who has used this before knows that this is like the best setting powder on the market it makes your um it makes your face look airbrushed it doesn't leave a cast there's no flash in photography it, it lasts all day long I personally don't have to reapply it, but I don't have a problem with oily skin or anything of that nature either. Um, and it, it just keeps your makeup locked in place while leaving like an airbrushed looking finish. I love it. So that was really nice. And now the last sample I was super excited about. I love this product. And I actually got it in a shade that I've never owned before, never even tried before, and it's the cover of X Drops. I got it and I got them in the cover Moonlight, which is like a silvery color. Um, usually I purchase the the Blossom, um, but I couldn't believe how beautiful these looked on my skin. I really liked it, so the next time I purchase them. I'm going to switch up colors and get them in this. Um, it states highlighting drops made of highly concentrated pearlescent pigment that can be used for a dramatic strobe or understated glow, and that is the truth. These can be liquid metal for your face or just a nice, beautiful, soft looking glow. And since I was doing the video, I didn't wear any powder, or highlighter, or anything of that nature. The only highlighter I have on at this time is the cover of Hex Drops in Moonlight. You can see the high points on my cheeks. A little bit on my cupid's bow. And a little bit above my eyebrows. So, I'm poltergeist going on. My light going on. Um, so I was really happy to receive these in this color. Um, it's a small bottle, but it will, like, you need so little. I mean, I love, like, the, the blinding, like, highlight effect. Um, some days I do like to take it a little more low-key, but even with using it for, like, a real noticeable highlight, you still need such a small amount. This bottle will last forever. Um, so that's it with the samples. It was an amazing bag. They did, a, I mean, I've had Sephora apply for about five months now, and this is my favorite bag by far. Um, last month wasn't bad, and I ended up buying the full, si one of the full size products, the, um, the Gimme Brow Volumizing, and the Benefit Volumizing Brow Gel. Oh, perfume sample. Where's the perfume? Um, this month, the perfume of choice was the Chanel Gabrielle, and it's not a bad perfume. I'm sure there are many, many women out there who will love this fragrance. It reminds me of a much stronger version of my Versace Bright Crystal. That's like one of my signature fragrances, but this one is like, it's... It's a little too florally, a little bit too present for me. I don't, I don't, that's the best way I can explain it. But it's not a bad fragrance. It doesn't smell bad or anything. It's just not me. Um, but I will wear the sample out and I'll, I'll probably get compliments on it. It's just not me. It's a little too florally, a little too, I don't know, something. 
But that was Sephora Play for this month. And like I said, they did an amazing job. Sent out some great products. It's my favorite bag so far by them. Um, putting it up against Ipsy for this month. Because Ipsy did a good job as well. But still, I feel like Sephora Play blew it out of the park. And yeah sephora did it better than ipsy this month i have to say even though like not saying anything bad against ipsy spag they still did a good job with the smashbox uh lid primer the uh the it by by pores finishing powder the mark anthony coconut and shea hair oil and the hey honey concealer which i have been loving um but I think Sephora is still um, just a notch better than Ipsy this month. So I can't wait to see what they have in store for us next month. Thank you for tuning in. And until then, I hope you have a good rest of the month. Thank you.